Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Marisa from Choosing Bliss. So as you know, I love planning and journaling. And I'm so excited to share the planners and journals I'll be using in 2024. For those who have been watching my videos in the past, you'll notice that this is the first time I'm adding a voiceover. I'm typically not the chatty type in videos. So being on camera and talking openly isn't really my comfort zone, so please bear with me as I give this a try. So I, I know some of you have requested voiceovers on my videos, so while well, this is new for me, I'm excited to step outside of my comfort zone and connect with you in this way. Even if I stumble over my words at times, I really appreciate you sticking with me as I try something new. After watching this video, I would really appreciate if you could give me feedback in the comment section below on whether you prefer videos with voiceover, narration, or just music with subtitles. So your feedback would really help me as I continue experimenting and make decisions about how to structure my future videos. So thank you in advance for taking a moment to share your thoughts after watching. Now let's get into my 2024 planners and journals lineup. At first glance, this pile of notebook may look overwhelming, but I don't actually actually use all of them every single day. So I carefully chose each one to serve a specific purpose in my routine. So I know others prefer to use a single notebook for everything, but through the years of planning and journaling, I've learned what works for me. So it really depends on my needs at a particular moment of my life, so I suggest being flexible. See what works for you. So as you know, my planning and needs have changed over time. So I ad I've adapted my system based on what feels useful during different seasons of my life. So the key is finding a style that fits your life and feels manageable. I encourage you to experiment to see which approach helps you stay on track. Try out single versus multiple notebooks, digital versus paper, daily versus weekly layouts. So I suggest being open to trying out what works as your needs change and find that mix that optimizes productivity and brings you joy. So throughout the video, I'll explain the role that each notebook notebook place and how I utilize them. So let's start with planners lineup for 2024. So next year, I'll be using a combination of a digital planner and a paper planner. The bullet journal system has been working well for me, so even as my specific planners and notebooks change each year, I stick with the bullet journal method as my foundation. In 2023, I've been using the Onyx Books Nova Air 2 e-ink tablet digital planner. So unlike a regular backlit tablet, I like that this uses an e-ink technology so it doesn't strain my eyes. It is also lightweight and portable with a 7.8 inch screen. So for my digital planner, I downloaded a free planner template that has monthly, weekly, and daily sections. I'll put the download link in the description box if anyone is interested. However, for 2024, I want to have a bigger space and different layout options for my monthly and weekly planning pages. So. So this coming year, I'm going to complement the digital planner with the Starbucks Casual Book Campus Weekly Planner. I'm really impressed with the high quality paper and the design of the Starbucks paper planner. So to better organize this planner, I added some tabs from Traveler's Company, which I think complement the color scheme perfectly. So I've been testing out the Starbucks planner for my December planning, and so far, I'm really happy with it. The monthly calendar pages allow me to see an overview of each month at a glance, which helps me plan ahead effectively. 
And another thing I really like about this weekly layout is that it has two page spreads. The left page of each weekly spread is where I'll put events, appointments, or tasks that needs to be done on a specific day and time. So this allows me to visually map out my schedule in detail for the week. Meanwhile, the right page is perfect for listing my running to-do list and happy tra habit trackers that I want to check off sometime throughout the week. So by having separate pages, I can clearly distinguish time-specific spe events versus general tasks accomplished each week. I appreciate how easy it is to flip between the monthly and weekly spreads to visually coordinate my schedule. So as I've mentioned earlier, I'll be using this Onyx Books e-ink tablet for my daily pages and lists in my bullet journal system. So this digital planner template I don't downloaded has a great layout for the daily pages. So on the left side, there is a timeline section where I can schedule out my day R by R so i like plotting out my days visually with a timeline view then on the right side there's a space for the days to do list and additional notes my daily planning routine involves starting each mor morning by opening up the start box paper planner to review my schedule for the week so i'll flip to the current week spread and check the left page for any events appointments or time-specific tasks written down that day. Then I'll take those casual items and transfer them over to the daily page in my digital planner template on the Onyx Books tablet. So for example, if I have a doctor's appointment or client call scheduled for Wednesday morning, I'll copy that to the timeline section on the digital daily page for that Wednesday. So this quick transfer from the Starbucks weekly layout to the Onyx Books daily pages helped me consolidate my schedule into one place. So by starting my day looking at the paper planner, I make sure I don't miss anything important time for that specific day. Then marrying it with a digital daily page keeps everything in one easy spot to reference throughout the day on the go. So it's a simple routine, but using both the paper weekly and digital daily views really maximizes my organization. So the other key thing is that I'll use the Onyx Books notes feature to create my bullet journal collections, lists, and trackers. So I can easily organize this into different folders so I can find everything easily. So after using these planners for my December planning, I'm hoping it will work nicely as I pair my paper planner with my digital planner in 2024. So the layouts give me the expanded planning space I was looking for while still feeling organized. Next, let's move on to discussing my journal lineup for 2024. So first up is my daily journal. So this is a Loish Storm 1917 ruled pocket or A6 size notebook. So I've been, just to give you a background, I've been using this anthropology line notebook for my private daily journaling and morning pages since September of 2022. And it still has a few pages left. So once I finish this one, I'll be transferring over to this Loish Term Pocket Notebook. So this pocket notebook will be where I do my dream journaling, morning pages, and long-form journal writing. But I won't be sharing any flip-throughs of this particular journal since it contains my personal thoughts and feelings that I like to keep private. This daily journal is meant solely for my eyes only. It will be a, per a place for me to freely express myself, reflect, and also log my dreams. So I'm, 
I'm excited to move into the pocket notebook once my current daily journey is all filled up. So the next journal I'll be using in 2024 is the Midori 5 Year Diary. So I like to use this one as a gratitude journal or to jot down quick highlights from my day when I'm not up for writing long in the daily journal. So this also serves as my reference when I have time to update my memory journal. So I first started using this Midori diary back in 2019. I have to admit I haven't been the most consistent with writing in it every single day over the years. But for me that's okay. It's meant to be something I can pick up and add to occasionally when the mood strikes. So it's nice, it's been nice to flip back through the pages and read snippets from the past five years. Saying what I was grateful for, what stood out each day, and how those moments change over time is really special. So while it won't replace my daily journaling, keeping this five-year diary encourages me to take note of the little joys and reflections. So the entries may be short, but it captures the essence of that time period. And it's a keepsake I'll have for many years to come. Next up is my Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee Regular Traveler's Notebook. So this is where I do all my creative journaling. So currently, there are four inserts set up inside. The first insert is a list of journal prompts that I can refer to whenever I feel uninspired or need some ideas to get writing. So having a list of thoughtful prompts helps helps me sparks my creativity. Then the second insert is my junk journal. So this is where I can let my creativity flow freely. So through collaging, adding memorabilia, mementos, and ephemera, photos, or just playing around with stamps and stickers. So junk journaling allows me to recycle materials into something meaningful. The third insert is my memory keeping journal, where I record meaningful experiences, milestones, food adventures, and other activities. So it's a way to document and treasure special mo memories and moments. And the last insert is for collecting inspiring prompts and book quotes. So whenever I come across words that resonate with me, I write them here to revisit later when I need motivation. So I love being able to keep all my creative outlets together in one notebook system using this traveler's notebook. Next up is my trusty passport size traveler's notebook in camel leather. So this comes with me on most of my trips and has been my constant travel companion for over 5 years now. 
It's really aging beautifully, developing a patina and scuffs that just adds to its charm. So of all my journals and planners, this one remains my favorite and holds a truly special place in my heart. So it has accompanied me on adventures everywhere from weekend road trips to overseas vacations. So it carries so many wonderful memories within its pages. So I just love the vintage look the leather has developed after years of using and being tossed in, into my bags. So even though I switch out my journals seasonally, this passport again is a steady staple. So it's still the perfect portable size for writing on planes, trains, and cafes and hotels during, the, during my trips. So anywhere, inspiration strikes. You may have noticed my passport and travel journal doesn't contain any photos or ephemera pasted in. That's because I actually keep a separate scrapbook style travel journal using the standard size traveler's notebook in camel leather from the traveler's company. So when I'm on ships, I like to focus just on writing in my passport TN. So jotting down all the little de details and memories from each day's adventures. So in order to do that, I pre-decorate the insert before the trip just with some stamps, stickers, and washi tape. So once I return home, that's when I move into a scra scrapbook mode. I print out my photos from the trip and then thoughtfully curate them along with the ticket stops, brochures, and other memorabilia into my standard TN insert. So this is where I get crafty and creative documenting the trip in scrapbook form or scrapbook style to accompany my written account in the passport TN. So for me, keeping the writing separate from the scrapbooking allows me to be fully present in each moment while traveling. I can journal daily without distractions, then reminisce later as I create uh, the scrapbook companion journal. So it's for me, it's the perfect way to capture all the beautiful memories of my trip. So that sums up my 2024 planners and journals lineup. So please let me know in the comment section what your lineup looks like or if you have any questions. Uh, I hope this gave you some ideas if you're still thinking about your lineup for, this, for next year. Thank you so much for watching.